Mate, so just, I, you just say it out here. So it's so just Welcome back to Waffling New Lot today. We are joined by Theo Baker, Wait. Luke Martin, and HS Tiki Toki. My brother, how are you? Very, very good. Honoured to be here. Yeah? Our first guest of the season, by the so way. So this geezer, right, he has pioneered TikTok, right? Changed the game in attracting females. You could say so, yeah. And recently <laughs> called me out for a boxing <laughs> fight. <laughs> In fact, I actually didn't call you out. I, okay. I, I posted a picture on my Instagram right. and everyone tagged you and uh, Bryce Hall. Really? So I was like... Because I saw a few training bits where you were like, Joe Weller, come oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, everyone, some of this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was sort of it. like, you know, because we were talking about getting you on the pod. And next thing you know, I was just hearing disrespect everywhere I'm living. <laughs> I would, and I'm just like, I don't know about this, son. <laughs> I, would, I would 100% do it. Would you? Obviously but what's the reason? Know. Because like we've never interacted before. You know, it's this not, is it's it. It's not you. It's not you. Okay. There are two reasons. What well, three reasons why I'd fight? The yep. main two reasons: money, clout. The other reason because I enjoy it. Mm. So like I used to do karate when I was younger, but obviously boxing is big money, and I'm yeah. like I'm trying to make a lot of money, and yeah. I enjoy it, and like the glory of it, the adrenaline rush. Yeah. So if you I, don't, I, I would like to do boxing. Like, I've got people yeah. in Dubai that want to train me up, I think I'd be really good. So I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, I would like to fight for sure. Have you ever done it before? Boxing, no. no. I've done karate. Have you ever been hurt? I've had a few straight fights. Yeah. haven't lost any. haven't lost any? Yeah, look at the size not. of it. Never yeah. lost a point. Yeah, I've been wham for a few years. So yeah. I was like, I've always been... Is it natural? Yes, it is. Yeah, is I knew it? he was going to ask. Yeah. I is it? I, I had seen that the question. TikToks. I've seen the TikToks. Because I, I swear there was a TikTok where you were like, oh, I've just done half a gram of like, something. Oh, no, I was, oh, yeah, that was gel and That's weed. What's that? Oh. That's weed. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I thought that was fucking good. Like, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That was a, a thoughts video I had in my bag okay. when I was talking about girls. Yeah, that was, that was like I was stoned. So I, was like, I wasn't sure if I should post it or not. Does it get tempting, though, to do like... Yeah, 100%. Roids? If I do do it, I'll make a YouTube series on it for sure. Because I'm not like, I'm not afraid of saying what I do on socials, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, when people ask me, do I do this? Do I do, do I smoke weed? How about unpack it? Do I do this, that? I'll say if I've done it before, yes or no, like, because it's not like, I have nothing to really hide. Because mm. I'm try trying to be open. I'm trying to do Insta different. There's a lot of like, fake shit. And I'm trying to like, be known for being that guy that's like, relatable. Real. That's quite good. Mate, no, that is honestly because like, you have a lot of people that obviously, you know, in order to get the money, you got to do what's brand safe, right? You got to be politically correct. You got to not say oh, any course. dodgy things. Yeah. Right? That's why, even when we started this podcast, we were like, we're going to just chat how we chat, where it, you know, how we are off camera, because that's how you're going to get the real stuff. And yeah, like there are some brands, there are some Maybe. even guests, yeah. like we can't really get footballers on. Because their PR team are like, nah, you're not going on a podcast that's talking about, you know, shagging your cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just not going to happen. But... Like fair play because otherwise I feel like you'd you'd go mental if you were trying to be someone you weren't. I, I think you find that you do better off. I feel like people would do better off. But obviously I do respect the people that have to be PG because there are big companies that would never look at me twice. I don't get that many. I'm not saying I'm a big time at all, but I don't get that many brands going for me because yeah, was, of the way I'm like. So I have to make money myself. I was going to say, like, do you get any brands yeah, coming yeah, to you like literally? Re to be fair, recently, like, so that's the only reason I'm back here. I can't really say too much, but I'm going tomorrow to somewhere. For like, I'm, I'm being paid. To, that's why I'm here. Like, that's good. obviously for this pod as well. But I was coming back anyway for this thing. I feel like you probably won't get a, a like. But nah, like not like I, I thought I'd have brands left, right, and center. And there's been like the odd teeth whitening bollocks that comes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and then it's just like there's been a few shaving things and that, but they're not not nothing that I expected. Not like any of the clothing bit. Brand. And that is like I, I assume you know that's obviously because of the oh, type of, course, of content. Yeah. No, you do. I, I knew. I, I've always said like um, myself and Ed. Like before we ev anything happened, we used to do YouTube videos. We always like would say to each other, realistically, brands aren't gonna want to associate with us smoking, etc. And we were like, and I was at school, and it was a big risk for me to even smoke on YouTube. Like, my mum sort of maybe no, I did it one like one off, but not to put it on online. It's like if you don't make it, you're effed. Like you're yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean. Yeah, and how is how is that? Because obviously you, well, actually, before I get into that, like just for the people that, that say don't know fully what you do, obviously yeah. your TikToks are about like 
like you say, pulling girls. Yeah. Talking, you know, about drugs, this, that, and the other. Yeah. How is it, like, obviously, you talk about your mum, and, you you know, you do a, st- a, lot, a lot of stuff with her. Does she, is she cool with it? Like, what, what does she have to say? Um, I mean, the pulling girls, we haven't really spoke about it mm. so, like, deeply, to be honest. I think, like, something I might just say, oh, like, how do you feel, like, I, don't, I might just don't say, oh, your son's like a stud, like for a living and that. And she'll laugh. <laughs> she'll, <laughs> we got a degree in pulling <laughs> women, mate. Yeah, and she'll laugh and whatever. But um, oh, we haven't actually spoke about it deeply, but she's happy that I'm doing well for myself because she's known for like the last year that mm. I didn't, like, I was good at school, but I wanted to do, I wanted to do like something out, something online. Yeah. Always really. Like it was more to do with the gym. And then I was literally just thinking, like I used to get girls on live stream and people used to like it, but I'd have like 50 views on. And then I started just walking around Birmingham doing it, and it just went up from that, the views started going mad. Yeah. Like crazy. And it where where does like place. the confidence come from? Because, well, I'm just gonna quickly play actually a TikTok from like HS Tiki Doki. Harrison is his real name. Um, have a look. Hey right, girls. Hi. You all right? You trying to hold this word? Yeah. You trying to hold this word? Uh, English, Spanish? Yeah, yeah, English, English. Okay. Where, or Spanish, a bit of Spanish. Yes. Estas muy bonita. Uh, yes. <laughs> tengo un apartamento, cinco minutos. Tengo sí. una fiesta ah, okay. en la semana. Semana? Is that the weekend? Yes. yes. Do you take my number? Or... Okay. My phone's died. Now, where did the confidence for that like come from? Was it that just one day you were like, oh, I'm just going to do this? Because a lot of people would get either embarrassed or scared at like the fear of rejection from like what you're doing. I think... My mum has brought me up to be quite confident, like always push me to be outgoing, otherwise you're not gonna get opportunities. That's what I've, I was being brought up. Um, in terms of confidence, like if I wanna be honest, my mum's my, my told me, I've had like a lot of people when I was younger saying I was good looking and stuff. So I always thought in my head like I'm pretty good looking. And then like during school, I used to get quite a few girls. So I just thought I was good, like the confidence was like that I was happy with yeah. the way I looked, and I, that's what I think is a big confidence boost for anyone. If you're, if you think that you're attractive, then it's gonna ooze off, isn't it, to other people? And then obviously getting like into shape as well has made it even more like more so to the point where I'm just like I'd, going into a situation like that, like, I'd be surprised if I de- if I don't come out with like a number. Cause that's how I think of it in my head. Like, <laughs> if I go start, I'm like 100 percent thinking that like, this is done, and if not, I'm actually like in shock. But that's a, that's going to be quite complicated. <laughs> See, when I say that, you lot laugh at me. No, no. But what I want to say, <laughs> we know you. It is easy. What, what I want to say is like that's going to be quite complicated for a lot of viewers to process now and yeah. not think what a bell end. And no, I'm, I'm not calling you that whatsoever. Yeah, like, but I, I, I could come across like a prick, but like I, I just try and be honest. Like if yeah, you ask me yeah, a question, I'm going to say exactly how I think. My head. Yeah, no, and I think, but that's also what we have also stressed quite a lot on the podcast is when people are like confident in yeah. themselves. It, People naturally always try and bring them down. Oh, but mate, you're saying it's literally like, what you boys do. Oh, grow up. No, but it's in like this is what a lot of lads will do, right? So if there's one of their mates that are maybe like better looking or just sort of like <laughs> here he goes, here he goes, or have confidence in themselves or believe in themselves, they'll try and like bring them down. Like it's facts. Like they'll take the piss. They'll banter. <laughs> oh, so, so, so we banter you because you're better looking than us. <laughs> no one said that, buddy. No one said that. But what I'm saying is, that, like, did you encounter that, like, with your mates? So they like, oi, what? You're a fucking pussy. You're like this, that, and the other. Or do they like support you and go, go on, fucking Harris on, pull I mean, them home? Honestly, I have like <laughs> a few mates because like my trust is not very high. And right. My, and my right. mates have the exact same qualities about them, and it's also like that. My two mates, like my two main mates, who everyone knows, like Ed and Ollie, yeah, like they are, like both confident in the way they look as well. Um, so it's like it's not really like that. We all yeah. we all enjoy doing similar things. Ollie's a bit of a different one out of like the three of us, but especially me and Ed, like we like going for girls together. We always had back in the day, and it's not like we've done this for socials. Mm. We've been best mates for years, so it's like we're just doing what we would do and film it. Yeah, that's literally. And it's good that it's almost like not a competition between you no, like, and like, like you're on a level. We just we've been t- best. We've been through a lot, so. Mm. I can tell in the gym ones you do together. 
You know, yeah. the, the bicep one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to be close <laughs> to be doing that. Like. Yeah, you were saying this is one of your favourites. So <laughs> well, let's quickly just play it. <laughs> so good. You said it was something like they look sexy in it. You, no, you, I didn't say that. You did well, like that's what you said. Well, what was it? <laughs> and then you, you, what did you say? You um, said it was quite intimate. You were like, they, were, they, they do something. Yeah. So we just talked about our friends taking the fist. And this is what, what? we do. One person what? thing for another, another thing for one other person. <laughs> that you don't even know what you were saying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so well, go on, carry on. What is it? So you're doing a bicep curl, and then. No, he's doing one, and I come up behind him. And but that, I no, that's the, the curl. The, the thing I'm saying is that you go all these, like, pulling girls videos and whatnot, and then you also do that. Yeah, do you know what? That was more because, like, I, I don't know if that was before. Was, I don't. I can't remember if that was before we started doing the pulling girls vids or not. But we used to do sort of the gym videos on mm. TikTok. We were just doing anything, honestly, to get views. So, like, we wouldn't obviously be normally going up behind each other doing that. We just thought what would go viral, what would get views, and what would get people watching the live streams. So there is like a creative yeah. element to it. It's like because some people will go, "Oh, it's just this lad. It d doesn't really isn't aware of what he's doing. He's just." randomly recording it but you're saying there's like almost creative thought that goes behind these things in order to like manipulate the system to get it fucking so, views so where it came from was was natural yeah like us feel like because we did not expect or I, I definitely didn't expect that me going live because i was doing it multiple times for, for like a few weeks with 50 viewers on so yeah. it was like i didn't think that it was gonna go yeah i was just doing it to get a few insta follows honestly like that's the only mm. reason why i was live i was like man i'll well talk to girls because i had I had nothing else better to do. So when it started getting a thousand views, two thousand, three thousand, I was like, well, yeah, like this is working for this. This could actually blow me mm. up. So that's that's when it's like, I need to do this all the time. Now, guys, we have a quick message for any of you that hate cutting your lower regions. Right, we all try and trim it, look after ourselves. And sometimes we get a little nick in there and it's horrible. It's horrible. Well, guess what, Malfoy? What? Manscaped oh. have made the lawnmower 4.0. 4.0? You've heard about the 3.0. This is the 4.0. This, this is the 4.0. The big daddy, they yeah. call it. So basically, they've got their skin safe technology, so you're not cutting yourself. You can be as loody dar as you like, right? The thing's got a light on it, it's waterproof. And not only that, but in their little package, you'll get deodorant for your bollocks. I use it every day. A pair of boxers. I use them as well. And a travel bag. And I use that because mine just broke. Yeah. I also do. things like ears, fucking no. They're oh, the nose trimmers. Yeah, they fantastic. completely cover you. And this is the ultimate men's hygiene kit that you need. And we're giving you 20% off plus free shipping if you go to manscaped.com slash waffling. Right, the link is in the description. Manscaped.com slash waffling. Enjoy yourself. Back on with the show. And in terms of, like, growing the platform... Uh. Uh, has it, like we've always talked about the mental health side of when you start getting a platform, the responsibility, all of that. Have you had any encounters of, oh fuck, people are telling me this or that and I'm doubting myself or anything or are you just like so tunnel vision with it? Yeah, because especially with the type of content, like I imagine you get, only because I know like we've had a, a few like people that maybe don't agree with the content that you make. So like, do you ever, when you are getting those sort of like, I assume you get quite abusive messages sent to you. Do they- Not really, honestly. You'd expect that I'd get like a load of hate. Like, oh, you, you like, can you swear on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, yeah. I, do you oh, I was thinking that, like, are you like, you wanker this and that. You'd think that I'd get that a lot, but my DM is filled with support. Like, I've yeah. got so many people that like fuck with me hard. They rate me like they they like want me to do well. It's not yeah. like my, my DMs are not like toxic that you think they'd be like mm. there's maybe a few, not even one a day, not even not even one a week really. Well that is because like I see that's that's toxic. You know, there is that thing where you may be actually like I know it's kind of like funny and stuff, your TikToks, but you may be inspiring some lads that do lack confidence uh, confidence to like go ahead and just approach women. Because we do, we have an email where people can like write in and a lot, a lot of the questions are about how do you pluck up the courage to go and talk to a girl? Like yeah. when you're in a club, you know, and you feel like a pussy or whatever. And do you get that? Do you get lads that are like, almost ask for advice? Oh yeah, I get asked all the time like to do, to, to, to like teach people how to pull. And I almost cringe at it because <laughs> like, no, like, no offense to them people that are asking me that, but it's like, I'm not like some sort of pulling like, I don't look at myself like some sort of pulling god. 
I don't think it's yeah, 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 yeah. I, I literally don't. I promise you, I don't. <laughs> I just think you, you just got to go, move to a girl with confidence. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I say to anyone when they ask. There's no like secret line, this and that. My chat isn't that good. Mm. I just go up to them and ask them what they're doing and if they want to come round tonight. Yeah. Or something like that. It's nothing like... <laughs> straight in. It's, 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 it's straight it's into the It's like, no, yeah, I don't mate. have chat, really. I don't chat that much to girls. I just mm. go up to them and assume that they fancy me. And that's what I say to everyone. Mate, and that you can actually translate that into a lot of things in life. Like going into, say, for example, a job interview, right? You go in and thinking, I am the perfect one for this job. There's no one better than me. And fucking firm it. Yeah. And go in there like you've already got the job yeah. and you already know these people. Then that's going to probably get you the job far more than, you know, that overthinking or trying to figure out the perfect calculation of how to succeed. Do you know what I mean? You've got to firm it. Believe in yourself. Confidence gets you a yeah. long way, like in, in life in general, whether mm. you're in social stuff or job stuff. Even in school, anything like to be like the prefect, to be the head boy, to be whatever in sport, it helps. Confidence is everything, I think. Yeah. Because if you're shy and you're in the background, like, I, I don't think it's quite hard to get into them. Or obviously in the spotlight or whatever, or at the top of what you're doing. But obviously there are shy people that do well, but I just think confidence is important. Yeah, and there'll be some times, which, I mean, tell me if you agree, that you might not actually feel confident, right? But you know the key to succeed here is to just fucking be confident. There's many to almost times, like force yeah. yourself to to go into that mindset of like I'm going to dominate this situation. There's 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 been many times when I was in Marbella where I would be like sh having the camera this way so people could see, and there'd be like a few like top 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 tier birds that would walk out, and I'd think oh shit like they're all going to say go and try and pull them, and like, there'd be part of me that think oh like sh like they are seriously fit. Because obviously it does cross my mind, like, if you're going for someone who's not that great, but then you're going for, like, a top tier, then it's going to be, like, you're going to have a different sort of mental going in. Everyone is. But I just think, oh, the best thing that can come out of it is that I get serious ratings. And, like, the worst thing that can come out, <laughs> the worst thing that can come out from it is, like, people who have a laugh. And I'll probably yeah. laugh thinking, like, it's just jokes. Yeah, so you also don't mind, like... Being the brunt of the joke as well. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Like it's happened. I've, 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 I've like. I mean, the one we fell down the drain. I pissed myself. Like, you trying to hold this wood? I was about to drop game on you. Where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me get your number, darling. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> on a real level though, that weren't smooth, innit? I'm normally a smooth criminal. Blood oh, up. mate, that was... I've oh, got mate, so jokes. <laughs> Fucking seriously. I've, I've got, like, that was, like, that was so dangerous, that road. Like, it, wasn't funny. <laughs> it was funny, like, but if, if that was a baby, they would have, yeah. like, that was dick. <laughs> and I've gone straight down. Why would a baby be walking on the drain? Well, I don't know. I don't know why I walked on it. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not obvious. Oh, fuck's sake. It looked legit. Like, the ground just looked, it looked like one of them... Metal things that go over it, it just collapsed under my feet. Fuck me. And so speaking of like, okay, when it doesn't go perfectly right and you don't succeed in getting the number or, you know, whatever you want from the girl, have you ever had it where it's like, you know, someone's turned around and gone like, oh, I'm fucking calling the cops or is no. has anything dodgy happened? Never, like never, no. ever. Um, often it's like, oh, often when I'm like getting, getting swerved is when I'm like, well, I'll be on a live and I'll just get a ridiculous person to go to, someone who's like maybe 40, like, <laughs> like a MILF. And like that, that's like risky, risky, because they might have a husband out there and stuff, and you know how it is out there. <laughs> but I'd still do it anyway. And like some of them would be like, oh, like you're cute and that, but like what, like, what are you doing realistically? You're not going to pull me. And they'd just be like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, see you later. Do you ever take it on as a challenge when you see that someone's directly got a husband? Oh, yeah, we've done that. Both of us have done that a few times. Because <laughs> Like go on, go into a table where there's a girl and a boy, and go for the girl. It's a right. joke. Sometimes a boy will get pissed, but like that was just all content. It was all funny, mm. and like sometimes a girl would like smile. And they'd be a bit like it would cause, like, and that's just content. Like it, can you that's pricky though. Can you tell when someone? Oh, oh this anyway, is I know you. where he's going. Which yeah. one to say? <laughs> I know you're when you when like so someone's got a boyfriend and you're like they would definitely yeah, yeah, leave would, their boyfriend in a heartbeat for me. Yeah, is that what you, you're saying? When you walk past them even down the road and you see them looking at you, you just there's a certain look and you know like oh like that's poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> and are you like ever do you think gonna be looking for love? Oh yeah, I'm only like, I've just turned twenty, so I'm like 
I'm not I'm not looking for it soon. But no. If, Do I'm, you, if I'm 30, like, I'm not trying to... What if it came about, that. though? You know, like... So, for example, Theo. Right, so, you know, you... <laughs> You've fallen in love recently and you were like, I'm going on a shagger spree. You were like, I'm living a single life. But it's happened. Obviously, when your girlfriend came around, it was the same sort of thing. You weren't looking for love. Yeah, yeah, it just and presents what, what, itself. If that came about now, do you reckon, like, are you saying, nah, 100% not? There's no chance. I just wouldn't have okay. Because I've, like, I've lived with a few girls, like, for a few days, like, not, like, four or five days out in Dubai. And it's like... They're really nice. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Like they're fit, really nice. Get on with them well, but like there's just no. Like in mind, there's no way that it's going anywhere further than. Like, you always pretty you. like honest with them as well. You like this is. Yeah, I'll gonna... never say like that. I'm gonna go out with them. Well, I used to when I was younger. Yeah, but, yeah. But like not not like not what now. Cause I'm, that's quite a childish thing to do. But yeah, mm. I would used to do that. But that was when I was like seventeen. Do you worry that like the the content? that you're making now will affect or potentially affect future relationships like the potential of one I'm not bothered uh, if it affects it it affects it I try and um, find a different like, yeah you'd have to be with someone that vibe with what you yeah. did yeah I'm not it's, uh, all, all I'm doing is pretty much what quite a few guys do it's just online like just broadcasting there's a lot of guys that go about I'm just broadcasting it and what would you say are your like the wildest sexual fantasies? <laughs> We're going there already. Because like basically, I, I don't really have much. So because that's that's a thing as well. Like it's obviously, it, do you, do you have sex with a lot of women? Not as many as people would think, because especially in Marbella, like in Dubai, yeah. But like in Marbella, because I haven't been as active in Dubai because on the lives because the views. The censorship out there is not great right. for like, the lives yeah. and stuff. Um, like the views go down and it, it's weird. It just completely screwed them. But since like up in in the UK, yeah, in like Marbella, not as many as people think. Like I could have, but because I was out every night trying to grow on Instagram, I was mm. out on live. I wasn't partying as much as people right. assume. If I was out there and I was partying every night, every night I'd go out, I'd pull. But it was like I would only go out once a week twice a right. week I wasn't out because I was on live till 2am tr- like getting girls numbers I was just getting numbers for the content right so it was like people would obviously think going live the whole summer you'd be doing loads but not as many as people would, would assume you know all these numbers you get do you do the people like do the girls follow through like are you still getting texts from them oh like, yeah like, oh, yeah 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 like um, I, I could like a success rate could be maybe like 15-20% on numbers like if if I was had the time to meet all of them, fair play. And then in terms of like, like not obviously not hundred like yeah. nowhere near. Yeah. Like yeah. There's loads of them that flake. There's a lot of girls that give numbers. Of, like I've, I've I've got numbers off a few girls that have said oh, I get approached all the time. I'll just give out my number and not reply. So if they don't reply, that's obviously what's happened. Like they're yeah. just trying to be polite. Now guys, we have a quick message from our sponsorship friends at Noom. That's N O O M. Right, the guys that rather than taking a tell you off punishment you're bad for not sticking to your diet they try and build cognitive behaviors in you to help you achieve your goals now luke as someone that has obviously used this platform religiously well i have used it and i did i have given it a go yeah what i do like about it is i think there's so many things out there that do try and push you down routes that are unsustainable whereas this takes you through these lessons to sort of train your mind and put you in a place where you're able to follow a sustainable diet routine that is healthy. And it's not, you know, because sometimes we go too far and we think this is going to make me look perfect, but it's actually unhealthy. Yeah. This isn't about that. And that's the thing. And all of this, all of your actions, they come from your mind. So if your mind is in an unhealthy, unsustainable place, how are you going to attain your goals? That is what is so cool about this platform. So to start your trial today, go to noom.com slash waffling and you will not regret it. <laughs> regret it right noom.com slash waffling enjoy yourself back on with the show now just on the sexual fantasies part yeah. right because what I'm saying is that like I was in this dungeon last night wait can we pull up the video can we pull up the videos are we, we going to get demon- demonetized I mean it's no, no, anyway. no, no, we won't show anything dodgy okay okay we'll send some Harrison. stuff so basically like right we're going to get it up now uh, overlay it um, I was basically in this dungeon in Brighton that my mate uh <laughs> 
just decided to hire for the night, um, they had like a drill dough. <laughs> drill dough? <laughs> so you electric know, electric dildo. So yeah, so it's like a and there was like a cage that you stick your head through, like what ropes, you, masks, nah, all that, this shit. That, I think that's I think that's odd. Yeah, man, <laughs> I, got, I got in there. Well, you went there. Yeah, so it's just like basically. He's he put, about that. He, what? Did you? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what in front of them? <laughs> 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 they, had, they had fucking masks and all short, like gimp masks. Did you wear it? Nah. No, of course not. Nah, I didn't, <laughs> well, I I didn't wear you, it. I thought you said you were in love. Well, Last week, he's nah, no, no, listen. Love. No, no, I okay. didn't. I did fuck all. But what I'm saying is that, like, that actually kind of was quite intimidating for for me in terms of like all of that stuff, like the chains and all of that. <laughs> no. I could never. No. That's what I'm saying. Like, could you ever do any of that, like BDSM shit? When I was younger, I thought I could. I always right. thought, oh, is that like a mature thing to do? Mm. But. As I've grown up, I just thought it's weirder and weirder. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I like simple. So what counts as like good sex for you? Would you say it's got to be like an intimate connection or is it just like, she's got to be fit? Just like, like, just like, I don't know if this is a bit crude, but just like a tight minge. You just fucking... Mate, so just, I, you just say it out here. It's so it's so just, was you talking like a tidy? And a nice oh. and a nice ass as well. Well, like Brenda's leggers. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's a formula for success. Like. Fair play. Pretty much, that's it. <laughs> no, mate, that's fair In, enough. Like, intimate, yes. It's quite nice if you like if you know the girl well and you like them. But like, <laughs> you can have one offs that are good just because of that. It goes. Like they're fun. Yeah, mate, for sure. And that's what it's about, isn't it? it really having yeah. fun. Unless you're trying to have kids, like, you're just trying <laughs> to have fun doing it, aren't you? Have you ever had any scares? Uh. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Ooh. That's not, it's not like a, yeah, I have, yeah, a couple scares. What? But like, nothing, nothing major. actually, no, no. A big question that we actually got, and you don't have to answer, was body count. That was, that was from. <laughs> a, I don't, I don't actually look. know what my body count is. I think it's quite If he says it, you have to it. say what yours is. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure I said mine before. Really? Yeah. What is it? No, you don't need to answer that. No, that's what I'm saying, because I. I, mean, it's, it's only, I said if he's comfortable, yeah, yeah, like, no we're not going to force you into saying no, no, anything. No, no, it's not, it's not even that. It's like, I, I don't count. It's nothing like, it's, it's not 100. Like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not, I'm, I'm not like, Cause that's I'm not partying like that. If mm. I was, it, it would be, but I'm not, like, oh, I'm, I'm not partying like that. Do but you yeah, like, it's a lot. Do you worry that, um, because I think a lot of people would probably assume that it is like 100 plus and like, you know, they're a per... You know what? What people people build this like image of you based on the content, and a lot of what you said today is like, oh, it's it's, it's just content, isn't it? Like I'm just doing it. Maybe your videos don't completely 100 percent represent you as a a person. Does that bother you? Do they completely represent me as a person? Not completely, because I think that if I was watching myself online and I just watched the game videos, I think like. Yeah, nah, he's, he's, he's funny, he's entertaining, but does he have a brain? And I feel like I do, but I feel like the perception of me, the way I sound as well, I just don't sound that clever. But like, I think I the other like is that you down there. Yeah, yeah. There's a side to me that people don't really see on the video, so yeah, it doesn't show the full side of me, but um, like the girls thing is, is a, like a massive side. I'd, I would do that off camera anyway, but I'd just be drinking more and partying more and I'd actually be... Well, so off camera, like before the video started, would you go up to girls and be like, do you want to hold this wood? Oh, no, definitely. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, no, it, it started, the whole this wood thing started when I used to do uh, live streams right. in my bedroom. This was before I went to Birmingham and it started blowing yeah. up there. This was like, literally in my bedroom, just getting girls in. And I just thought to say, like, oh, you're trying to hold this wood as like a joke. And then I just started saying that on the lives, it stuck. And then... The occasional time, if I'd like, if I was on a successful streak, mm. it's quite a stupid thing to say, isn't it? But people are taking it like you should actually say that. Oh mate, it's fucking everyone saying it. Yeah, like, like that's everyone really, saying it's it. It's not really a line that I would use, like unless I was joking, like you trying to yeah. would. But it like, it does actually. If the girl fancies you, it actually does work. We're straight to the point, like, isn't actually, it? Like it actually does. <laughs> I've said it multiple times in real life, isn't it? and they're actually just like, yeah. They did hold the. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but yeah, it's, it's not it's not a line I would have thought would work though, but... No. 
If, if they if they fancy you, it doesn't really matter what you say, though. You, you can work it out to the number. So would you take a girl out on, like, more of a romantic date? Because obviously people it see that side of you. All right, so it's not what's in their, like, personal soul. Honest, like, if you want me to be honest, like, no. But, like, when I'm older, probably. <laughs> yeah. But probably. right now, like, if, if they were a, a rocket, and, like, they... <laughs> because, like, the, the fitter a girl is, the more effort they take. So, like, if it's, like... A t- top tier girl's not just going to come around your hotel. You're going to have to spend money on them, take them out. Do you like putting the graft in? Or? Yeah, on, on a really fit bird, yeah. But like, that's what you have to do because they've got offers from loads of men that are good looking, have money or whatever. And you've got to compete with them because the top girls have the choice of all the boys. So like, why would they go for you over like someone else? You've got but what if, like, but it's a thing. So, so lads, no matter who it is, say like, Using money is something anyone can do. Whereas like you as an individual is the only thing that's individual about you. So it's like you spending money on them, the next man's spending money on them. So it's like, what, how is that separating you from them? Do you get me? So like, it's, in, it's actually how, what you're like, how like as a person, I, I feel like know, they're going to connect with more, no? I don't know. I think there's like a few different, I don't know what you call them, like variables mm. that girls think about. Mm. I think the main ones, like, I, from what girls that I've met, or girls that I know, this is what I've built up. I think it's money. Clout and looks. Oh, but, but mate, they're like... Because oh, I've seen those sort of birds. No, but I, f- I feel like you'd think that some birds aren't like that, but they are. You reckon they're all like that? Not all of them. Of course, there's loads no. of girls that are genuine. Loads. But all the, like, but the, like, fit, I, the top I tier the ones. the you get, the more like money, clout and thingy it gets. I've seen, like, and I know of, of girls that will go out with boys who have got money, good looking, then there'll be like a table of other influencers and they'll leave and go on that table I've seen it I've like seen people, it at the end of the day clout is business and money money is gonna like, they're gonna obviously enjoy that and if they've got the choice of every single man there's probably a lot of nice men that have got a lot of money but so like the only thing that's separating how much money have you got how much clout have you got and how good looking are you do you know what I mean if, if you're like the fittest girl you've got any choice why would you go for someone who's potentially not as attractive only, maybe they're a lot nicer, but there might be a nice guy who's good looking, who's got a lot of money, and who's clouded. Then they're, they're gonna, you're probably going to go for that one. That's True. what I think anyway. Fair play. For but a few girls, a lot of fit ones. Yeah. That's what I think it's like. Yeah. No, no, I, do, I definitely like feel what you're saying. I just, I guess you like to think that, say, for example, the girl that you end up with ain't going for you because of how much money you, you got. Because your looks are going to go. Your money might not always be there. Like, there needs to be something more than that in the end. Do you know course, what I mean? Yeah. But I guess for now, like, what, especially, like, everyone coming through, like, the new TikTokers. Like, I was at a fucking event recently. The girls, they were with a bunch of TikTokers. And I... <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. A bunch, of, a bunch of other people that were more... Had more clout came in. Boom, they come over. And it's sort of like... You see it, you see it, and I've seen it like bare times, and it's sort of th- that generation coming through is even more. I feel like yeah, that. well, I think we're like moving into that world where like, and this doesn't just go for girls. I think this also applies to boys in the sense where everyone wants that influencer lifestyle, and the way to get that is to connect with people that are known. So it's like, the, it's the TikTok generation now. That's yeah, what they're called. They're completely it's different. Instagram completely as different. well, though. It's Instagrammers as well. I've, yeah, I've, yeah. I've witnessed it, like people. Who would have no interest in you? Have interest in you because you're yeah. doing a few likes. Can you suss that though? Like, if you're speaking, oh, really? like, I have a few friends for that one reason. Yeah, yeah, friends yeah, yeah. I've had for a long time, and they're also like Ed's doing this with me. Yeah, like, and he's literally my best mate, Ollie, as well. So it's like I don't, I don't want to have new friends because I don't know whether they're like that. And a lot of people you'll assume that they're not, but I see lo- like, I've seen in the summer just loads of like fuck shit, like people who are married and then. The geezer all like, like be tra- trying to show off to me because he sees me with girls and he's going, oh yeah, been with this hooker last night and the, you'd have no idea. So like when you're saying you might end up with a girl who's like that, you'd like to think so and probably that like, there are loads of girls who obviously are so genuine but you never know what they're doing behind your back and yeah. you never know what you're going to do behind their back either. Now, guys, we want to give you some free beer. That's right. This sponsorship message is from Beer 52, the guys that make bespoke, unique packages of beer to send to you. Now, Theo, why are they so good? Mate, they're from all around the world. Every single beer is different, so you're not just drinking the same old boring beer. They taste amazing. You get snacks with them. You get a magazine. And not only that, it's five ninety five For postage. For postage. You get eight beers. Yeah. Mate, it's a no-brainer. And not only that... If you're a student, what are you doing? Yeah. Get them. 
And boys, I've already said it. Look, if you're looking for like a cheap gift for your dad or something. Christmas coming up. Oh, mate. they're a good, basically a free Christmas present. And they're going to be like, oh, how did you find this such educational beer? <laughs> yeah. And then secretly, it's the waffling boys that are helping you. So if you want to get these free beers, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go to beer52.com slash waffling. That's beer52.com beer <laughs> beer slash waffling. Pay the five ninety five postage and get them now. Back on with the show. So yeah, that, that brings me on to the thing of like, do you actually believe that fucking we're meant to be ever with just one singular person? Or do you think that we should actually allow life to flow and just go in between whoever? Just do whatever you want. Like if you want to get in a relationship at 16, if you want to mm. get in one at 20, if you never want to get in one, do whatever you want, do whatever mm. comes to you. I personally wouldn't get in a relationship when I was young, because I'd want to like enjoy the different countries with my mates, go out partying, enjoy being single, but if someone wants to, let them do what they want. Yeah. You, know I mean? well, you, you say about the, the travelling, and obviously you're wearing some good drip, <laughs> right? What is all your money from TikTok or like how are I you stacking pee? I don't make anything from TikTok. Okay. Um so I just I sell training programs. Um well like trading two one two. No, no, training. training. Oh, training. training. Yeah, we've got, oh we've got quite a lot of questions I sell about training that. Training yeah, we've got, programs. Yeah. Um, oh, sick. I do Do you know what you need to do? Hold this with merch. Yeah, yeah, oh. clothing's coming. Theo out. buy immediately. <laughs> we don't buy it. Clothing. Mate, it would bang. Yeah, yeah. It would bang. It'd fucking bang. mate, right yeah. now, like that's the phrase that everyone's fucking using. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do clothing. I'm gonna do online coaching as well. But it's yeah. like the, the the people that have followed, <laughs> people that have followed me on Insta are like, I've changed a lot of their lives. Got getting yeah. a lot of them into shape. Like the majority of the boys on there are probably have got one of my programs and they're in shape. So a lot of them are like waiting for the next thing. They want to buy the clothing. They want me to start coaching them online. So, like, there's other things that I will do that are in the process. Yeah. I also invest quite a lot of money in crypto and stuff because I, uh, I was quite good at math. So I was always, uh, I learned before anything, before I had any money, I was learning how to trade. Um, yeah, because yeah, obviously... I did like, a little bit of that. I'm not, like, I'm not Warren Buffett, but... <laughs> yeah, because I, I... I make money doing it, to be fair. That's yeah, sick. I know someone that invests in gold. Gold? Yeah, just and literally like because obviously I think it's rela correlates to like when the pound goes up and down as well. Dollar, something or the dollar, right? And they'll just when it's up, when gold's worth a lot, sell. When it's down, buy and just keep doing that, stacking racks, just gold. Because they and they're like, well, gold's never not going to be like valuable. It's like gold, isn't it? Gold is gold. So it's yeah, gold's gold, mate. So it's sort of and listening to that and obviously like, how you can just invest in different it's shit. So like, much more complicated than that though, because people, yeah, like, you. you like the 90, I don't know what the percentage is. I think it's like 97% of some of the people lose money. At me. And that's why they're on the, there's like, you can get rich off it, but you right. can only get rich at someone else's direct expense. Is like that how, is that how it all works? Yeah. Yeah, well, if, you're well, if you're buying, someone's someone selling. Someone is selling into your buy. That's how, if, if there's no one selling, you can't buy it. Mm. So like someone's selling at the wrong point and you buying at the right point is completely fucking them. So what, Fuck. what exactly like, so is trading your main income or is like the PT? The I the don't PT anyone, but um, the tr or the training tra training programs is, is the main. But it will be as like you use more and more and more money with trading, it gets to the point where like a one percent increase is going to be a lot of money. So eventually that will be more. But like, I want to buy houses and shit yeah. and like be smart. But I need to buy with a R eight right now. <laughs> Yeah, well, and also, yeah, but also saying that, like, you're, you're clearly smart and you, you've got a goal, you know what you want to do, but you're also young. So it's like, why not live at large and just spend a load of money? Because it's like, you never know with, with social media. Obviously, my, myself and Ed, we want to do YouTube, we've got a channel, we want to take it up to the top. But with this game, you never know if you're going to be out the door tomorrow. So I could go spunk all my dough and then tomorrow I could get banned on Insta. Yeah, that's what I was saying to you two boys last week. And you never know when you're going to fall off as well. Mm. Like well people can lose interest in you like that. And that's the thing, like, if you don't evolve, say, like, right now, so, like, the whole this wood thing and, the, you know, the game content is, like, popping. But but say, like, yeah, when that starts to, okay, like, become, like, old news, right. do you have almost, like, plans for how you're going to evolve yourself? I have no plan. No. Because I don't think that 
like, I like I got myself here by just letting it flow. Yeah. So like, I feel like when I start planning stuff, it becomes too much like a job. People will sense that I'm planning shit. I just like to go with the flow, and if it will work, like if it's meant to work out, it will work out because it's just myself. So if people do get bored of me, it's because I'm not interesting enough. So I don't. I shouldn't have the platform if I'm not coming. Yeah. Do you reckon you'd be able to handle that quite well? Yeah, I'm very to the point. Like, yeah. If if something happens, it happens. It's it's happened, isn't it? So if if you if if I did start losing traction, then it just happens, isn't it? And I just have to good. think. Oh well, I'm maybe not. It's a good. It's not meant for me, but like I'd, I have no. Like, I don't even think that that's even a possibility right now. Mm. Like if I'm being honest, I think the YouTube is gonna go so big when I start doing start doing it properly. Is there any videos you've already recorded for YouTube? There's, there's videos up there now, and like there before, we only have like maybe twenty thousand subs, and the views are like popping. The views are like hundred k. Oh shit! With like and that this was when we've gone up like f- I think five k subs in a month. We haven't even posted, and that's not a lot. Of, like twenty k is nothing, but the video views are doing well. And yep. there's like a lot of people that want. When we were posting, it was just consistent, consistent views, and it was like I posted vids before we blown up they'd maybe get a thousand views. You know when you go on YouTube studio and you can compare yeah, them? Yeah. They'd be doing 10 times better than that one and then like 30 times better than them old ones. Like It blew up so quick. And what sort of content are you, are you planning on making? Is it going to be similar to your TikTok? Or do we you all did like different? so just partying, doing like cool stuff, maybe even pranks. Um, just anything that we do normally, like joke stuff. Um... Like driving fast. Have you ever looked at YouTube Shorts? Are just no. posting your same TikToks but onto YouTube Shorts? No, yeah, I heard bang. of it though. I heard the algorithms mad. Yeah, it is. But what you know? What's weird about that YouTube Shorts thing? So they'll ban a YouTube video or demonetize it sure. if you mention like shag it or whatever. Yeah. YouTube Short, they're fucking pushing like birds with their tits out. Yeah, they don't even look that old. Is this the Jack mate? Yeah, yeah I saw Jack mate tweet about yeah, it as well, yeah, and it's so like. Fucking yeah, mate, he's a good <laughs> geezer. Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, just seeing like, yeah, the YouTube's dodgy in that sense. I like, wouldn't surprise me if this gets, just, the second that d- drill though hits the cam, <laughs> it's getting demonetized. Yeah, but you, but, know, like, you know what they're seeing? What? They're seeing TikTok blow up and they're yeah, yeah, how yeah, it. And TikTok is essentially, we've been through this, just soft porn. Yeah, it's a bit, in it? It's a bit mad. It's, uh, it's and the second, the second you watch a there's, video. There's dough there, isn't there, though? Them girls, like, some of them making. Mad money, yeah, like hundreds of thousands a month just because they're fit with a nice body. Would you ever do something like OnlyFans? I used to say if I was getting like hundred k likes, I'd do it just for the money. But I wouldn't now. I I, I wouldn't I'd say like something like what uh, Stephen Bear, what he's doing. No, I've <laughs> <no> <laughs> one. Have you seen <laughs> like <laughs> what he's been posting on Twitter? I, I haven't seen. I don't. I don't follow him. But I, I think that the it can. I, I feel like it potentially can make you look a bit washed. I don't know. That's my personal opinion. I think it lowers your. Oh, I don't even want to. I don't want to offend anyone who does it, but that's just my personal opinion that yeah. it potentially like, lowers your social image, in my view, slightly. So when so fair enough. So when okay, because some people could argue that you doing the sort of TikToks that you're doing may lower your social oh, yeah, image. Cool. I'm, I'm not bad. So I'm not, I mean, it's a proper geezer. I'm not saying oh, I'm all proper. Because like, like, yeah, because you could, I do my, my own stuff. Yeah. Because you could say that, like, regardless of what you do, as long as whatever the fuck you view yourself as, it it don't matter what other people are saying. Like, views lowers your social image to who? Actually, fucking yeah, no, Donny down the street who gives a fuck about that guy. I, I completely take that back. <laughs> do it if you want to. I take that back. I don't think. But that. it's all right that, in your opinion, for you yeah. doing that, you would that you yeah you don't feel it's right for you. That's I calm. Think it's a bit private to be putting out. There. Yeah, fair play. But what, the comment about lowering social image, I actually take that back because I think who yeah who who gives a fuck. If you make dough off it and you want to do it, do it. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. So back onto the boxing front. Have you got any other minds that you're genuine, um, fucking people that you're genuinely I'm, I'm thinking just, you'd fight? Does that mean you wouldn't? Well, right now. Right now, I'm about to do the music thing. I'm signing the record <laughs> deal tomorrow. <laughs> right? I mean, it's 4 p.m. at the Universal headquarters. Mate, you've fucking said this out every there, boys. Week, every week. No, it's fucking in. Me and Jack Duckworth, right? He's my AR. From Universal. Look, you'll see. He's when a that, real person. When that hits the <laughs> <laughs> Duckworth, mate. Look, when that goes, when that hits the gram, you're going to be fucked. I want to see the comment. What are you going to comment? Out of time. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well done. Congrats. Just fucking sweat. Yeah, yeah, it's saying this in six time. weeks in a row. Yeah, isn't it? It happens though. Do you have to deal with any legal stuff, like doing contracts and whatnot? My mum does all of that. Oh, okay. Is she like your manager? Yeah. Okay. That's, That's a really good. I, I don't get involved with that. All right. At so you, all. Fair play. Yeah, because I'm currently like, basically what they're bantering me on is like, I've been, the contract for my record deal is like taking like months to like sort out. And it's sort of like, with any of the stuff that you're working on, is your mum like, is she a lawyer? Is she like, does she know all that she stuff? Does investigation, so. Okay. And she also has a solicitor working with right. her for stuff. So my mum's very good at seeing if there's bollocks like written in. And yeah. obviously there's always on every step of manufacturing or someone contracting you for this, whatever, there's always going to be, well, a lot of the time going to be a little bit of bollocks where they're trying to do you out of a little bit of this, a little bit of mm. that. And it's without you noticing. And um, yeah, my mum just looks at that and finds out what it is and makes sure that getting done done all and is there any other sort of part of the industry that you're you think you're going to like music like film like acting do you know what I mean like any of that stuff I'd maybe act in like a big film but like yeah. I wouldn't want to like do any small but I'd do a big one but why, why would they like right now I'm, I'm not really that big to be doing that but I would definitely do that boxing I think is something I'd be good at I think I make a lot of dodo in boxing as well yeah there's a lot of people that want to see me fight what like is the thing? There's been old yeah. videos of me going around fighting and the people have seen them and they're like, they want to see me in a ring. Do you ever get like boys come up to you and just starting on you for no reason? You don't? To be fair, look at the size of his arms. No, but they're people stab you now. Like. Stab oh, <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't, like, no, no like, I don't think I'm going to get stabbed, but like some, you never know when you're walking down the street if the guy, mm. just because he's smaller than me doesn't mean he won't Yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah, like, yeah, no doubt. No, no. hurt easily. Yeah. Someone can shoot you. Earlier, obviously, you said your dad was a rugby player. I mean, we had a question come in about him. Have you ever thought about going into, like, rugby or, like, did you play any sports growing up? So, I played football at West Ham when I was younger. Played a bit of rugby, but I didn't enjoy it as much as football. I did karate, tennis. I, my mum put me into loads of stuff. Mm. Swimming. I was an athlete. What position in football? So, I started off striker, then went left wing, then went left back. To be honest, just got really moved, moved around just to sort of... Because I wasn't one of the be the best ones in the team, for sure I wasn't. So I was like, I was fitting in to help the other players develop, which is obviously fair enough because you'll have some of them that will make it. Yeah. But that's how it works at the academy. There'll be like maybe two or three like really talented, talented kids. Everyone there is obviously very good, but there's very good and then you've got to be elite to, if you're trying to get in the Prem. Yeah. Yeah. So then that, that'll move around and fit, uh, position in to, to help the other players develop. Which is at the end of the day, it's a business move. It makes perfect yeah. sense. We we had that. So Cam Wiltshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I, I used to play for Brighton, and we had a player called Cam Wiltshire. He, you could tell he was the one that was going to make it, and he fucking like believed in everything, and all the way up to under twenty ones, like just before twenty the first well. twenty threes, just before the first team. Boom, you're out, and he's left with nothing, and it's like that's mad. That that culture. Whereas you were at the fucking NFL today. And you were saying that they, as part of them being in the academy of the NFL, they do their education yeah, as part go, of that. It's basically school. It's but, basically school. So, so if, if the NFL things fails, they still have the education yeah, thing. Exactly, Whereas yeah. like a lot of academies in football, it's like you dedicate your life. Yeah. And it's like, see, see you later. You are seeing a lot more pop up though, like especially at Northampton. Right. Uh, you know Scott Pollock for hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before he could go pro, he had to do a, like a two-year BTEC scholarship just so they have something... As yeah, a but then, like at the end of the day, but you're not gonna. You, some people want to do A levels, or some people mm. want to go into university, and that you struggle to do that if you're doing a B tech, and you're never gonna get as good of edu education because it's like big risks, big rewards. You risk yeah. your education, and then you might end up doing fifty grand a week and being a footballer and getting everything that comes with it. Yeah. So it's yeah. like you're never gonna get to the top if you don't take any risks. There's gonna, always gonna be a risk, and it's your education. It's just hard, isn't it, when it when it's like a kid. And you think you're going for that that big dream? It matures you. And then yeah, yeah. If, it, if it does get taken away from you, but then you at like you see it happen to kids at like 16, 17, and then they've also like maybe fucked up their GCSEs because they were just focusing on football. I don't know. I feel like kids don't actually know what's good for them sometimes. I feel like, I feel like that's what that's you can take true. away from the Americans quite a lot, quite a lot, especially in the NFL. Like you can't make it into a pro team without going through college or pro university. Team. Pro team. Oh, pro team. A pro team, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can't make it unless you go through the college systems and get yourself an education. Like yeah. If you don't hit certain grades, 
you're not gonna get it. Yeah, and there, there needs to be that some sort of setup. Like I think having that in almost like multiple different industries, like say if you want to pursue like the acting or film, or even like, it's probably gonna go more into like the YouTube type of making videos. There should be a, almost like a apprentice, no, not, not apprentice, but like scholarship program where you can fucking take that risk and learn that shit, yeah. but you're also got that, that backup. But you're so right, bro, and when you're saying about like, you gotta right. take risks, bro. No, but it's true, it's like, you gotta take those risks if you're gonna fucking- Yeah, but I wanna know what, if this didn't come off, like the, the TikTok stuff, what would you be doing now? So I was at university and- What, as in like- Yeah, yeah I dropped out, okay. yeah, yeah. And what it was, was that I, I was doing finance and it was like, I was, really had the thought in my head, I was like, right, I'm getting, like, obviously I'm so young, but I was thinking in my head, I'm getting old, like, as in, like, to, to, to make this a career, I was thinking, I'm getting a bit old. So I was thinking, like, if it doesn't work this year, I'm going to think, right, maybe it isn't for me. Because I tried it for a year prior, no real traction. I was like, right, if it doesn't work this year, I'll put everything into it. If it doesn't work, I think, oh, maybe it wasn't for me. And so I tried it, tried it out. And then it, it worked. So I said to my mum, like, I wasn't really doing many lectures at university. I was always going to the gym, making sure my food was perfect, like, really grinding it out. And also getting like one of my uh, mates, called not even my mate, like just my flatmate, nice guy. Um, he used to film me for free just to help me out, be nice. So I was making like pretty low quality YouTube vids, to be honest. But at the time, they were pretty decent. Um, and then it just, it, obviously this all happened. But if it didn't happen, I would have redone uni what were you really studying in uni finance. Finance. you dropped finance, out first year yeah. as well or did you make I it i dropped out in i don't know when i dropped out my mum dropped out for me but mid-summer probably i think and then what after the degree what were you looking to go and do um maybe stockbroking or something because i'm quite good at selling stuff i might not seem like that right now i'm a bit slow because i'm a bit higher <laughs> 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 but like i'm when i'm on the ball um i'm like very good at en like engaging people selling stuff so I probably would have gone in yeah, obviously that shows like talking to the girls on the TikToks like I think that that it's all part of the confidence thing yeah, isn't it you yeah. know to be able to sell you've got to be able to talk to people and agreed yeah. yeah so on the like when you started making videos and stuff was there anyone that you were particularly inspired by because when I fully went for it I was inspired by KSI that's who I was like fuck what he's doing like I can really like see myself doing that sort of thing but in my own way was no, there anyone for you no. No boys. No me, boys. Me and Ed always said that um, we'd like to do similar videos to them, but like not really similar, but that scale of like fuck shit, but more fucked and more like girl, more girls and Jimmy to do with what we actually do. But yeah, we looked up to Nelk for sure. I can I can actually see that because they come across as like these like idiots, or whatever. But they have clearly got a proper business plan. Like you can tell, like they they, they got their own drinks. Like they make they, they sell their own beer. Like, there's, they're clearly on it, apart from this whole Steve will do it, that's just come out, but I, need to, I haven't looked into that properly. Steve yeah, what? what? Yeah, have you, have you seen her that? What? I don't what? know, the, I haven't actually looked into it, but Steve will, you know who he is, Steve yeah, will yeah, do it. Yeah. Course, yeah. Steve who? Steve will do it, he's like part of the network. Steve will do it. You've never heard of him? No. Are you serious? I've never heard of him. Who the fuck is that? Really? He's like the biggest guy on YouTube right now, I think. Is he? But So he spends, he spends like, you don't watch it anymore. He spends like three million dollars a month on his videos and stuff like that. like. He's got money, but like, how's he got money? And Trapping. And it's just come no out. Way. There's, there's a, no way. No, 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 he, he sells clothing. No, no, oh, apparently someone's just exposed everything. Yeah, but what, Wait, what, what does like, he do? I haven't actually watched the video in Oh. Yeah, but I don't think it's good. No, I think he just, uh, like, uh, what I think is that he just sells the clothes and that. They've got such a big audience that it, it doesn't take that many people to buy $50 clothes for you to make a shit yeah, ton of money. Yeah, yeah. And they've got like millions of fans. Even their podcasts are getting millions of views. Like they've got a mil they've got a loyal fan base on that sort of scale. Like it's it's easy for them to make multiple millions a month. I think. No, I'm sure they do, but I really should have watched this video. Yeah, you really oh, should have. Well. Came, oh, well. came with fifty percent of the info. Game's the game. We got any more questions from the gram from the audience? Yeah, this one's a bit like. Go for it. Uh, what is the oldest milf lengers you? <laughs> <with? laughs> How old have you gone? Thirty three. That oh, was when I was at uni. 39. No one else, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was eight. I You're in uni. 19, no, I was nine. Oh yeah, yeah, fair play. I was, yeah, she was How did that occur? 33. I just knew she fancied me and I was actually on a live stream and I started chatting to like, like, like I was uh, just on, on a live anyway and she walked in and I started flirting with her and then from then I was like, right. 
Were you in a bar at the time? No, I was just in my kitchen cooking. Well, she, she came in your flatmates. kitchen? No, one of, one of the flatmates. Oh. <laughs> so she, she was at uni she, Yeah, yeah. She was like doing a... She, you know how you can come back when yeah, you're yeah, old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was doing some sort of degree thing or whatever. And then... Uh, come around for a freshers night. And then I just knew she was like on to me and then... Came on. Sealed, sealed the deal <laughs> <laughs> within a week. When you go out, do you drink or do you ever go sober? Um, I don't go out unless I'm gonna drink. I don't think really, um, and it's because I'm not, I'm going out to have a sick time, and I feel like you're sober and everyone. Like I've, I I don't see the point in going out unless you're pissed. Right, so I've, obviously I've been smashing it all summer. So the past two weeks I've been like no booze, no nothing. I've been going on nights out, right, Enjoy sober. Because I was like I got to this point, bro. I was literally like I want to get to a point where I can sort of enjoy myself, be who I am, do all that and fucking have a sick time without needing stimulant, right? Whether that be like caffeine to go to the gym or like get fucking shit faced to go and course, go yeah. and party and whatnot. Cause I'm about to like obviously be DJing and whatnot and drinking all the time is like, it's just gonna fuck me. Can you not drink as an, a DJ? Yeah, 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 I'm better when I drink, but it's sort of like, I don't, I, like, I wanna be in healthy. shape, be healthy for my mind as well. Like drinking all the time, it, it's not good shit. Yo, yeah. So. And like, I've been having like class time, like in a sex dungeon, <laughs> in a fucking dungeon last night. That was sober, mate. Fucking so like sober. And it's sort of like, it's almost waking up the next day and you're like, I'm not hung over. If anything, I feel class. Cause like I didn't drink at a sick night. I'm fucking, yeah. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could enjoy myself to the same extent. Why do you reckon that is? Um, is it because it, it's fun drinking? No, yeah, it is it, fun. It no, is fun. No, wait, no one has said it's not fun, but it, like, yeah, no, yeah. what I used to get when I was, say, like 18, I first started going out and I didn't really like the idea of drinking, uh, you, you, you get in your head and when you drink, it, it numbs your head a bit. Like, you're not as anxious. Until you wake Did up you get the me? next morning. Yeah, Whereas, yeah, like, yeah. now I'm like, I want fuck that anxiety or fuck anything like that. I just want to get to that place without needing stimulant. Like, that's what, and I'm not there, I'm not saying, and, and drinking is so much more fun than, not, than going out sober, but. Yeah, I don't know. I like just, that idea of like needing booze to have a good time. Sometimes it's like oh, that, I, I don't want. That. I don't want that. The whole, no, my it's, whole it's not good to rely on a drug. Yeah, if you're ever relying on a drug, it's not good at, at all. But like, I, I feel like it does make it better. I yeah, like, I don't drink often, so yeah. I don't go out. Often. Right, right, right. If I was out, I'd be doing. If and I wasn't drinking, it'd be more content. Like, if I was going mm. around pulling girls, I'd most likely always be like always sober. I'm never on them lives pissed ever. Yeah. I think I've done that once. How did it go? I just was like, oh, I was just saying loose things because I was drunk, like just a bit mm. outrageous. Like, Did you have anxiety the next day? No. Oh, well, you weren't like worried about what you said? On oh, no, no. I was just like, just being a bit forward, like girls that were going off on boats, I was like trying to pull them as though they'd stop the boat and come back <laughs> and let me on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got... We got a weird one. I don't really know what this is in relation to, but it says, and you'll probably have to explain this if it's a story. What happened with that bird when she woke up and realised you shat the bed? What? what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had a stomach pain in, uh, <laughs> in Spain, and I I'd, I'd, I think I was, I'd had a girl back then that she was staying, and she was in the room, and like, I don't even remember because I was drinking. And actually, I don't even know if I was drinking, but can't remember the night that well but all i know is that like i, I was having like drap during the night or whatever I, during the day i was having farts <laughs> and they were like they're not the normal like little they're like oh shit like i might shit myself <laughs> so, oh. and then like, i went to sleep and it was all good whatever like i was with the girl and i woke up in the morning and i could smell shit and i was like oh i was like oh like, and i looked at uh I looked like, and shit, her face was like this, you know, shit like in front of her, like, <laughs> like, like wet, dirty shit, and like, it was on her as well, it was disgusting. On her? Yeah, it was just, I don't know how that even happened, like, because I'd shat on like the sheet, <laughs> and then like the sheet must have moved, and it woke up, and like her face was right next to it. Yeah. What? <laughs> What did crazy. she do? Wait, she was pissed. Like, hey, James, shitty talking, mate. Yeah. I wonder why she was annoyed. Oh. I didn't even remember doing it either. Wait, how did you like, know about that? Come out. You told it online. It just come out. Oh, no, I TikToked it. <laughs> <laughs> Got like half a mil views, and then I took it down because I was like, actually. <laughs> Who can do I want that up there? <laughs> but it's after it got half a mil views. 
<laughs> what, did, what did you say to her in the morning? I just went like, literally, I can't remember doing it. And I was just laughing. And <laughs> I was like, no way have I done that. I was, I was creasing. I was creasing. It was like disgusting. I was thinking like, poor girl with her face, just like this, not realising that her nose was just above. Absolute filth. Fucking awful. Imagine waking up and just shat the bed. Uh, <sighs> Oh, Fucking hell! So wait, would you say that's the most embarrassing thing, or is there anything else? I wasn't embarrassed. I just, I found it jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't embarrassed. I, I don't, it's not an often thing that I shit the bed. It was like such a rare thing. I found it funny. <laughs> I was creasing at her. Oh, she did not find so, it funny. So, though. do you get embarrassed ever? Like, have you got like a most embarrassing moment that you could uh, share? Mate, it's got to be bad if that happens. Embarrassing, embarrassing, you know. Most embarrassing moment. Well, you could build. I that can't think of one, but my memory is so bad. Like my long term memory, I just can't even. You ever had any bad rejections? Uh, bad ones. Like, of, like I've I've gone to girls and they've been like like they're not interested. But I don't mm. take that as people might think that that's like something that play in their mind. I can't even remember when that's happened, but I just know it has happened. Mm. It's like that irrelevant to me when it happens. But like obviously it's happened multiple times because I was. I probably got like was spoke to maybe within two months probably like four hundred girls or something maybe more than that like maybe like t- sometimes twenty or thirty a day. Fucking hell, that is so many. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it'd be like like not every day, but sometimes it'd be like upwards of twenty, like easily thirty odd. Same. So it's like we're gonna get multiple what, what, do you, So do you do do you talk to these girls over like phone like socials or is it real life? Like I just go up to them and chat to them. And oh, okay, like, okay, get okay. Their number and then I okay. text them or anything like that. I sometimes DM girls now because it's like when you have a few more followers, you show up. Like before, I DM like the odd ones, just you know, just a shot in the dark, trying to DM an Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got like five hundred followers, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not really gonna open it. But it's like, yeah, they never did. <laughs> Is there any reason why you don't have a profile photo on Instagram? I haven't found one that I liked. You just have nothing. <laughs> I just thought if I find one I like, I'll put it in. If not, just have just nothing. keep it out. I can't find one I like to put as a profile picture. I was thinking I might put a logo on it or something. Fair enough. I don't know. I just haven't got to find a picture. Fair enough. See what happens. Anything else, boys, to wrap us up? Any Wait, other I, actually think, I actually think so many of the questions were just yeah. basically like, what we've covered, how did you get into it? Like, the rejection stuff. Yeah, I mean... Anything you'd like to ask the boys, of Theo? I don't, I don't really have any questions, to be honest. Fair play. Nah, we I didn't think it's been good. No, we're joking, bro, we're joking. Really. Are you ever going to box again? Oh, <laughs> mate, that's the thing. Like, I, yes, yeah. every, mate, every time I fucking train, every time I train, I literally, I'm like, I'm doing it and I'm like, I'm fucking sick, mate. You like, say to I'm, us I'm, every week. I'm literally like, I'm a fucking athlete. No one trains as hard as me. No one works as hard as me. I'm fucking, this is, uh, this is what I do, right? And I feel it every time I'm in the gym. But... Until like I'm like I want to fight that man, where I'm not going to do it for the sake of it. I didn't. I did that first one because I wanted to fight KSI. I didn't do it because I wanted to box. Well, you ain't doing it for like dollar or anything. Nah, mate. Well, I made a fucking loss on my fight. What? We didn't. We didn't do pay per view. Why not? Because I wasn't in it for the dough. I just wanted to beat KSI. It yeah, wasn't like, a fucking business move no, then. But it's not about like going in. For no, the I know. Dough, but like it's just you were doing it anyway. Why man? Mate, got paid half a mil. Mate, that's what it. I'm saying. And that now, how old was I when I did that? I was 21, right? I wasn't even thinking, I was fucking stupid. Like, all yeah. I was thinking about was like, I'm here to show that I'm like an ultimate athlete and I'm going to fucking beat this guy. That's all I was thinking. Fair, I'm, I'm stupid. I know, I know. Serious. I know, and now since then, obviously everyone's earning like meals for it. And like, yeah, trust, if I did it again, because obviously, like, you know, being the first one and whatnot, obviously we, we would do a big, big fight and it would do big numbers, but... Whoever it's going to be against, it needs to be like, yeah, I definitely want to go against this guy and I'm ready to fight him now. It needs to be worth putting in six Yeah, it needs to be worth. Because it is. We're not going to call out Deji. Again. I'm not calling out anyone right now. But there we go. Anyway, should we leave it on that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for coming on. Yeah, yeah appreciate right. it, brother. It's been a good laugh. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First podcast. Yeah, like, mate, I, it's a good one. I was coming thinking, oh, how, how's this going to be? Like, I didn't really know how they worked. But it's just yeah. a chat for now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's casual. Just a laugh. It's just really yeah. Casual. yeah, yeah, that's how it's got to be. Because, like, some, well, if it's like too interviewy, I don't know, some of the questions are a little bit like. Yeah, like explosive, uh, oh, yeah, explosive, we got, but, we got a but yeah, still. but it's still a good laugh. Anyways, if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like rating. Comment down below. Hey, Jess Dickie Talkie, where <laughs> is your bag from? And if you do, then 
That's going to be an Eat a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.